welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a kia or hyundai with a 2.4 gdi engine guys now we will explain if you have check engine light on and code such as any of the codes guys such as code p0 130 what can cause that and one of those things most people never check guys so stay with us until the end we will explain what it is before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart and we teach you how to do almost anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now uh, for instance that engine we will have so many videos guys we will be taking completely apart to the last piston rod bearings anything like that and if you need to buy any parts or tools to fix your car check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get them for a really good price and quick shipping as well so now let me explain what we have here specifically what we'll be working on this is the 2.4 gdi engine it has been used in multiple hyundai and kia models probably at least 10 models uh, many of you asked us in the comment section below to share information about the diagnostics that we recommend and use here guys so we decided to do that this is the computer right here it's amazing scanner i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features but it's an all system scanner that works on almost any car you can think of and it can pay itself off in one time use and the and kia is right here so let's talk about these codes what can cause any of these six codes pretty simple guys open your hood okay when you open the hood you face the engine that way you have the intake manifold you need to come towards the back side of the engine where the exhaust manifold is on the exhaust manifold you have two oxygen sensors okay you can see uh, the the second one is known as a downstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor two and what it does it detects if that catalytic converter it's doing its job and if practically the vehicle is meeting the emission standards uh, and the other sensor which is number one bank one oxygen sensor bank one sensor one or also known as upstream oxygen sensor detects how much fuel and air you still have left in the exhaust so it can send that information to the engine computer the engine computer can actually analyze that and it will do adjustments to the fuel pattern spray pattern and when to spray fuel ignition variable timing okay and all that stuff so you can have a nice clean running engine that meets emission standards and it's uh, fuel efficient as well and powerful so that's super super important sensor if you have any of these codes what it can indicate that you have problems with that sensor for any of you that need help replacing it there is a special tool that makes your uh, uh, job super easy and it's very cheap too guys will definitely recommend to check out the video about uh, upstream oxygen sensor on uh, Hyundai 2.4 GDI Kia 2.4 GDI engine replacement and it will teach you how to do that but it could be a bad sensor and if you don't know how to test it we have a video guys okay how to test upstream oxygen sensor check it out number two inspect the wiring harness why simply because our wiring harness holds in these metal retainers right here but if they're too loose people didn't bend them like that they can actually come loose like this one did and it can melt the wires and that can cause that cold as well so it could be melted wire which can actually result into a burnt fuse in some cases as well or sometimes when the oxygen sensor goes bad it can burn the fuse number three inspect the connector make sure that it's plugged in and make sure that it's communicating correctly make sure the wires are not pulled from the back sometimes people will try to disconnect them and they will pull the wires out of the connector so inspect that one as well and if that uh, doesn't fix the problem you replace the sensor you checked everything and you still get these codes i recommend to check the fuse for the oxygen sensors and uh, you can check out the video we have it on our second youtube channel electrical car repair live check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time